What is going on, my home studio addicts? We are hanging down here again with little Sebastian sleeping right back there. And we are going to show you how to EQ your home recorded saxophone. We have yet another Crooked Roots song up here that was recorded when they came up here to record years ago. Should check them out. Great band from West Virginia. I will leave a link in the description. So we have a alto sax solo in this song and what i've done is i've just taken off all the plugins and we're kind of going to start from scratch here yeah so we are just going to go over just eq in this tutorial and then next one i'll i'll get into compression and whatnot but for now i've taken all the plugins off here and i'll even bypass the effects and let's just listen to the sax solo Yeah, so let's just pull up Pro Q2, and first of all, I heard there there's a lot of muddiness and probably some low end we can get rid of, so let's take care of that. Yeah, so it doesn't look like we need anything going on below 140. As you can see, there's not much going on down here. Yeah, best just to get rid of that stuff. So now let's take care of the muddiness we're hearing. Right there. You hear that? Sounds awful. Okay, so now let's brighten this puppy up. It is an alto sax after all. So let's add probably a high shelf, probably somewhere down by 8K. So let's, let's see what we can do here. That's a good start. All right, so it's still not as exciting or aggressive as I'd like. So let's see what else we can do here. I'm just kind of going to search around for a nice frequency to boost here, probably between one, maybe 3K. Yeah, so after listening, I, I think we could brighten this up even more. It might be a little excessive, but I think we could just bump this high shelf a bit. Yeah, so I would normally spend a lot more time on this, but for the purposes of this video, I wanted to keep it short. But there is some harshness I'm hearing, so we might want to go in and search around for those frequencies to cut a little bit. Yeah, so around 4K, it's pretty typical to find some harshness with things like saxophone, even voices, uh, guitars, that sort of thing. So, yeah, these frequencies kind of sound like garbage. Mm -hmm. 
So just taking a little bit of that out with a really narrow notch and just relieving some of those harsh areas. So why don't we do a before and after real quick. I'll, I'll bypass this, bring it in and out. And then the second time through, I'll actually throw in the effects that are on the instrument so you can hear it in the space of the mix. Alright, so these EQ moves may change a little bit after we start adding our compression. Once things go through compressor, some frequencies can pop or poke out, but uh, we will save that for the next video. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to download your free Ultimate Home Studio Mix Guide. I made this for you guys so you could start getting your mixes sounding better. There's a lot of great information in there. And be sure to reach out if you have any questions or if you need any help with your mixes. Thanks.